Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a 3d rotating image gallery using Elementor page builder. You can use this 3d rotating image gallery to showcase your images in a creative way. So you can showcase here your photography images or your web work, logo design work or any other image artwork. It will be super attracting and creative. And like I said we will be creating this 3d rotating image gallery only using Elementor page builder. So without further ado let's now go inside elementor page builder all right so let's now first create a section let's click on this plus icon and take a single column structure now first i'm making the height to minimum height and let's make the height in vh and i'm making the height 100 vh then here column gap let's make it to no gap and then let's make the width to 200 remember it's very important to make the width to 200 not less than that nor greater than that make sure it's 200 all right now let's go under style tab and let's now give it a background color i'm giving it a dark color maybe this black like this so right now we have this whole section and within this section this is our column and now within this column we will be adding images so let's click on this rubik's cube icon drag an image widget inside the column here so let's choose the image i'm selecting this image let's now click on insert media and then i want to add more images so you can just simply right click on this image widget and you can duplicate it and then i'm replacing the second image with another image so let's select this image and click on insert media so following the same way i'm adding more images and only to not make you bored i'm doing it really quickly all right i have added here eight images you can add more images or less images but i suggest you to use images between five or ten all right now we will be adding some javascript snippet but no worries because i already have written the javascript code for you but before that we need to add a class with the column so this is our column just select this column icon go under its advanced tab and here i'm giving it a class name i'm naming it my gallery you can name it anything but just make sure i mean just remember the name because we will be using this class name on the javascript snippet so to get the javascript snippet just go inside jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description so in this page here if you see under the important links here you can see download the images i use in this tutorial so you can get all the images from here all right so if you you now scroll down a bit here you can see a 3d image slider js so from here i'm just copying the javascript snippet let's copy it and go inside elementor page builder so now you can use the javascript snippet inside this page anywhere so first of all let's click on this rubik's cube icon and here i'm searching for the html widget and here i'm dragging the html widget here underneath actually you can drag the html widget anywhere of the page because as we will be using javascript snippet so this html widget will only show inside the elementor page builder but when our website will live we can no longer see this html widget all right now here inside the html code just paste the javascript snippet we have just copied from jim fahad digital so here i'm pasting it okay right now our images looks messy but no worries now only concern about one thing just make sure here inside this class name text inside this quotation you retain here the class name of the column so to double check it just click here on this column icon again under advanced tab here css classes so here our css class is my gallery and again if we now go to the html widget inside the javascript snippet make sure the class name is here perfectly pasted all right so our javascript part is also done let's now do the css part of our slider so to do it again just click on this column icon from under its advanced tab scroll down and click on custom css and you know you will only get the custom css option if you use elementor pro and if you don't have elementor pro already i will put the elementor pro purchase link in the description you can get elementor pro from that link 
all right now go again inside jimfahaddigital.com and under this slider js just scroll down here you will find 3d image slider css so from here i'm just copying this snippet just make sure you have copied this whole snippet so copy it and go inside elementor page builder make sure you have selected the column you are under advanced tab and inside the custom css i'm pasting the css that i have written for you all right at least we can now see it's not broken and we have got all the effects like here you can see the nice reflection effect of the images so now we need to happen the 3d rotating animation so again go to jimfahaddigital.com and if we now scroll down a bit here you can see 3d image animation css so just copy this snippet from here now go back inside elementor page builder so here we have written all the css now scroll down so after the css let's make some space just hit enter couple times and then paste the animation css here boom we can now see the rotating animation here perfectly and now here i want to show you another thing like here i have commented one thing it says duration control so here inside this animation i have set the animation duration to 20 second here so now if you want to make this animation more faster then from here instead of 20 second you can make it in 10 second so right now you see this animation is happening within 10 second also if you want to make it slower you can make it 30 so you see it's now moving very slowly so the whole animation time is now 30 second but you know i want to make it 20 second like this because it looks more decent to me so far it looks great to me and finally let's have a look how it's looking on mobile device and tablet device so we will make sure that our slider is responsive for mobile and tablet device to check it from here just click on the responsive mode so first let's check the tablet view so from top click on the tablet on the tablet device the image rotating slider looks really great and let's now have a look on the mobile device so on the mobile device it also looks good but i want to show you another thing so you can also control the look and feel on mobile device so to do that let's again go to jimfahaddigital.com here i have written a few lines of css only for mobile device so here you can see a 3d image slider css just copy this snippet from here go inside elementor page builder and underneath all this css text so at the bottom here again put enter couple more times or return i mean press the return or enter button couple times from your keyboard and then paste the css snippet here so now if we have a look you may not see any big difference here but on the mobile device right now it looks decent for me but if you want to reduce the size of it you can do it from here so here i have also commented here you see is scale control and here you see is scale and i made it 0 0.7 if you want to make it more smaller you can do that from here so instead of 0 0.7 if you make it 0 0.5 you see it's now more smaller and let's say if you want to make it more smaller you can create it 0 0.3 right now it's more smaller and let's say if you want to make it more bigger so you can just make it 0 0.9 so right now it looks more bigger but to me 0 0.7 looks more decent yep it looks perfect so when you are happy with all your work just click on this update button to save your work all right now let's close this responsive mode and lastly i want to show you another thing let's say if you have created this beautiful 3d rotating image slider and then if you think you want to change any of the image and right now if you want to change any image and if you want to click on this blue icon you see it's very difficult to grab any single image so to grab any image properly we need to use the navigator so just from here click on this navigator icon and you can order or reorder any image from here using the navigator also let's say if you want to change any image just click over this image 
and you can change the image from here also if you want to create another new image then you can just right click here then duplicate the image and you can change the image also if you don't want any image then you can simply click on this delete button to delete the image and when you are happy with it just click on this x to remove the navigator and finally if you wanna have a look how it looks on real website i mean after live then just click here on this eyeball icon to preview the slider here you go it looks perfect on the live preview so we are done with our beautiful 3d rotating image gallery if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press on that bell icon to get notified whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel also if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this video i will see you on the next video for now bye bye